All right, guys, I want to formally introduce this new series. It's going to run about 10 or 12 videos right now. We're still in the midst of filming, obviously, but it's going to be a fairly lengthy one. I don't want to lose my regular crowd, so I want you guys to hop on board with what we're doing here. No, it's not a primitive shelter and it's not a catch and cook, but it will be an excellent launch pad for such things as wilderness living and catch and cooks once it's built. Obviously, we have to build the structure first. You guys have been asking me to do shelters and shelters and shelters, but do I do primitive catch and cooks? No. So I'm not going to do a primitive shelter either. I'm going to be using modern tools. There's going to be a sawmill involved. There's going to be power tools. There's going to be hammers and nails. Primitive structures don't last. You guys have seen them on YouTube. You've seen many people do them. What happens after a year or two? They completely fall apart. And that's exactly what would happen if I made any kind of shelter too. And I'm not out here doing work for nothing. I want to build a shelter that will last 40 years, that will be heated, that will be comfortable, that will house my family and my son and my guests. Hang out someplace and we can have animals in our back door. That's right, we got squirrels, we also have rabbits, turkey, we have deer, we have raccoon, there's geese. I can hear crows in the background too, all the time. So that's a launch pad for us to just jump out in the bush and get things done. It's also gonna be a great place for us to cook our spoils. We're gonna have a wood stove put in, all convenient places to cook our food. So we're finally making it happen. We're finally building our small cabin of woods. It's not on wheels anymore. It's not a trailer. We're digging post holes. We're throwing in pressure treated lumber. It's gonna be our only real cheat that we're not using for the, the uh, sawmill because obviously we don't want this thing to rot out. Our cost so far is zero dollars besides the sawmill. So we're just digging the posts in right now. I'm gonna catch you guys up right now real quick. For this area here, I think. Because we'll be levelish and then come out. So we've got our posts dug in. We're gonna dig eight posts in total. We're gonna to make a rectangle box. It's gonna be about nine feet by, Gavin, nine feet by? That long. Nine feet by that long. We're not doing exact measurements because we're gonna, we're just gonna wing this whole thing. It's gonna be a small cabin in the woods. It's not gonna be on wheels. It's not, we're not using a trailer anymore. We've completely abandoned that. So we're doing as cheaply as possible. We're gonna do it like the old timers did, except we get to use the pressure treated. That's the only difference. The old timers didn't build foundations. They dig, dig, big, dig pits because digging sucks. Digging really sucks. Yeah. How much does digging suck? Digging sucks a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're going down, I think about three feet, which will get us about below the frost line. If this heaves and moves and all that stuff, it'll be good fun. It won't be too crooked. Um, yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. Um, it's not gonna be elaborate. It's gonna be like the old timers did. The old timers didn't worry about things. And those old timers, when they built stuff, they lasted hundreds of years. We're gonna build with what we have here because we don't have a lot of straight, really long dimensional lumber. So we're gonna do with uh, what we have on site. So we're gonna feel the trees up and see how far we can actually make it without you know, having to go and outsource logs because that would be ridiculous. That's not good for TV unless it falls. Oh my god, done. Most unsatisfying free fall ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hang on. All right, so we don't know. It's gonna be hodgepodge or something. It's gonna turn out good. <laughs> we just don't know what it's gonna look like. It's not gonna be lengthwise looking down the hill. It's gonna be the other way looking this way. It's gonna be nine by 12, we figured out now, nine by 12. It's gonna be somewhere the, the, the space for people to live in as opposed to a, a set number. We're gonna build <laughs> it's not gonna be a set number. It's gotta be a set number at some point. So he was we'll saying, measure it at the end. He was saying eight by twelve, and I'm saying nine by twelve because it to give another extra foot. Eight's not very wide. It's gonna go this way, so it's gonna be sticking out onto the into the vista over here. So we have a nine frontage, twelve back, because the back of it's going to be mostly bedrooms up top, loft area down. So you don't need that area at the back that much. You'll have a nice sitting area, big old cathedral roof, pointy. If you go too far out, you can't go pointy because the, the point will be 25 feet tall. We don't want them, we're not building a church. All right guys, so you hear that? There's no trailer anymore. The trailer idea is completely gone. This is gonna be a cabin on stilt.
We are gonna use some pressure treated lumber for our post. It's gonna be one of our cheats, I guess, because uh, obviously it's a pretty integral part of the whole deal. So Kevin's just driving up here with the truck here. Trailer, Suzuki trailer, sidekick deal. Somebody ordered some posts. <laughs> he did. What you pay for these pieces of junk? These were uh, free from a neighbor. <laughs> They're uh, pressure treated, six by sixes, so. We don't want to mess around with the things that go on the ground. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Custom now. Put that up there. Put that back on later? We'll put that back on. There's nails in them. And the other one, two other four are nailed together. So we're gonna set this thing on eight posts. Uh, the posts are gonna be pressure treated because we're not gonna mess around with anything. So we've, uh, in spirit of this whole thing, we've actually used salvaged materials. We've got one post hole dug there, post hole dug here, one here. So we're gonna set the, the uh, posts in and then we're gonna measure off that, measure our, our eight, and then we're gonna be out of the ground. And then we're gonna actually start constructioning this thing. So just don't look at the camera when you do it. Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna scare that nail in. Amateurs. It's too cheap to buy nails. That's right. <laughs> well, you gotta you gotta use what you have. These are at least fifty cents. <laughs> Level and plumb. Looks good for my house. Watch out for the overspray. You want five feet from that post and five feet from the other post. The first time using a tape measure. For the love of Pete. <laughs> okay. We're actually gonna make it level. Old timers didn't make anything level, they just eyeballed it. Well, see, I don't drink enough to make this thing level with beer, so I'm gonna use my laser instead. <laughs> sure somebody on the channel can really tell me how to use this thing. Well, this is where the top of the post goes, and then there'll be another six inches on top of there, so. Pretty high? Well, you want a view of the vista. View of the vista. Well, you keep yourself off the ground. What? You gotta keep yourself off the ground. You gotta you gotta make sure that the further you're up off the ground, the more comfortable you are. You're supposed to spend money on shoes and beds and cabins. We're just working on the last post. Once this goes in, we're out of the ground, then we gotta go use the mill because we gotta get a 16 footer to go all the way across all eight stilts. I'll call them stilts, let's just call them stilts. They're uh, pretty well aligned. You use the level, you use the chalk line, all that garbage. Here we go, level. So obviously we're working with a bit of a gradient here. So in order to make it so that it doesn't feel like you're gonna slide out the back when you're sleeping, we've got uh, tall stilts at the back here and then shorter tilts, stilts at the back at the top here. And the whole thing's gonna be kind of slanted, but level obviously. And then we're gonna have a wraparound deck. We're gonna, so we're gonna ease it off, off the uh, cantilever at the outside, cantilever at the front. So yeah, and we gotta go to the mill next. We gotta cut a, I think we're gonna, 
find a cedar tree here. We're gonna cut a cedar tree. We're gonna mill the top and bottom and we're gonna slap it right on top. And that's gonna be our frame. As we get going, the picture we get. Well, first we started, nothing mattered. Now everything matters. Look at how detailed it is. Just over every fine little detail. Gonna make it square, like a box. That's that building tendency that comes out. The perfect enough yet? No. <laughs> So comments, we are aware that people will make. We should have uh, dug deeper. We should have poured cement in there. Um, we should have be using safety equipment, air protection, steel toe shoes, probably vests and stuff. We're not doing any of that. Chaps, yeah, chaps. Um, we shouldn't be leaning over the chainsaw, etc. We know all that. Guys, don't follow what we do. Uh, you do it right. We're just gonna do it. So out of curiosity, my friend Don asked me how square it is. Let's have a look. So we'll hook her on and we're 186 and a half to the other side. We're at 186. We're all we're pretty darn close for not measuring them side to side. 97. 97. All right, now we're on the hunt for a 16 foot by six to put on top of our posts and we have some candidates right here there's a couple we need to get rid of anyway or they're gonna end up causing us problems you can see all those ones there got to be taken out cleaned up before they uh, land where they don't need to land I think um, I think this one over here is gonna do good that one that'll be a 16 footer we gotta cut it and then we have to drag it up to the sawmill because can't actually get the sawmill all the way down here so we're gonna cut these cedars down and drag them up to the sawmill and then we're gonna rip them down. We only need two, which is good. Should be no problem, there's a forest of trees here. gonna last it's gonna is it gonna fall right in here or you got no, the one hinge this one was our, our protection all right shove it then we're going that, that's worse now it's worse Where? it's worse now We're gonna hook up a cable here and pull that one out and then we should be good. The other ones might fall. Good. Good. Coming back to visit you. Oh, that's a mess. I'm going to clean that up. This one for other piece and that's we're gonna be out of the woodwork here that's the hardest part is getting these 16 footers 
to do the uh, the main structure. These cedars like to get hung up all the time, all the time in the top branches. Now you topple them over and pull the butts out. All right, now pull the bottom out. Come on, horse. get the horses. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sawmill is this? This is the Norwood HG36. What to do? Cuts logs into boards. It's gonna be our main beam. It's gonna go all across the pillars from one side to the other. 16 foot, uh, probably one of the longest and biggest pieces we need to meet. We have to make two of these though. Flatten out the top, flatten out the bottom. We can just throw it right on top of our boards and we'll all be set to go. We can throw on top of that, we can throw our flooring on. We're already up above ground. Six inch by six inch live edge on both sides. So it'll give us a little bit more meat. Yeah, but what is it for? For cool. No, no, it's to hold the whole building yeah, up. Yeah, this is to hold the whole building up. This is our structure. Go right to the, pull the log. Oh. Yeah. Nice and secure. Tighten the blade so uh, we got the right tension on the blade in order to uh, cut it straight. Take this, and you flip it back up, hold your log in place. So that tightens right up against that. That's a long load, dude. Don, you good? I'm good. Gonna help. If I don't video this, people won't know you carried it. Oh, <laughs> Set it out. Flip it over. Attention where your feet are. Then you go up to it. You come down. <laughs> and jump. You jump? Yeah, jump right off there. <laughs> 